Hello students, I am Vincent Fernandez, your math teacher from Sri Sarvagna Public School. Today we are going to understand a new lesson with the name Lines and Angles. So what is this line? So a segment like this which has got infinite points joined end to end constitutes a line so this is a line which is having a no length the length cannot be measured it has got no thickness so this is extending infinitely on both the directions so this is a line now consider a part of the line so let us consider only one part of this line and mark the point a as the beginning point and b to be the ending point so we call this as a line segment. So it is a segment or a part of the infinite line, correct? So this has got a measurement. So it has a certain dimension which can be or magnitude which we can measure. So it is so many millimeters, so many centimeters or so many kilometers or meters, etc. We can definitely measure it. So this is a having a machine. Now consider a line which begins from a point but is not ending. So it begins from A but the end is not seen anywhere. So it continuously goes in the same direction. Of course it can go in a 360 degree dimension or uh, directions. So this is called as a ray. So whereas uh, this is a, a line segment, sorry line, this is a line segment, this is a line and this is a ray. So these are the three different uh, things which we can consider here. In only in between that is a line segment has got a magnitude, line does not have any mag magnitude, it is uh, having infinite length. Now ray has a got no magnitude because it can its own length cannot be measured because it is infinitely extending on one side right so there is a beginning point initial point here that there is no final point okay so consider two rays so if there are two rays here say for example a o is a point and o a is a ray so here if i consider this to be Ray, which can be represented as a ray AB, this as a line AB, this as a segment AB. So segment AB is a given that notation, line AB is given a two-headed arrow notation, ray AB is given a, a notation showing from which direction to which direction that is where is the beginning point and where it is continuing so this is the notation okay so here is a ray o a consider another rays beginning from the same point o so this is a another way let us call this as ray o b okay now these two rays have got some inclination between them there is a some kind of a angle which is between them so this inclination this distance between the two rays we call it as an angle so it is measurable so we can measure this inclination the angle between two rays emanating from the same origin or same point so this is having suppose 35 degrees now that is a measured by a device which is used to measure angles so that device is named as protractor so we can use a protractor keep it on the initial point and the straight line on the base the other line shows in which how many degrees it is inclined so there is no other way of uh, measuring this by but by using a protractor okay it's an easy method of measuring angles so this is how we can understand about lines and angles so more about angles will follow in the next class thank you and have a nice day bye bye